Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Crypto Business Podcast brought to you by Tokamines. I'm your host, Robai Garam, Director at Tokamines, a full service crypto and NFT agency. In this podcast, we're discussing any blockchain topic that is relevant for businesses and entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to talk about bots, which ones to use for NFT Discord servers. I have with me Anchor, who is a veteran crypto and NFT marketeer for the Asian and international market. So Anchor, um, take it away. Tell us a, a little bit about what bots you would recommend for NFT Discord servers. Yeah, sure. Um, thank you and nice to join this uh, talk. Yeah, for Discord, actually, it's quite different uh, from the Telegram. So for Discord, we need a lot of like uh, more setups, get every category like, like set down and everything organized and clean. And for sure, the bot is very important part. Uh, so in general, that's, there are a lot of like common bots that the server need to use for different functions. So for example, first one would be Meet Six Bulk, and it actually will allow the user to self, uh, self uh, assign roles <clears throat> by using Discord and it auto assign the roles for the users um, to generate all the Discord, you know, like those kind of different roles, everything. And then um, it is for the Dino uh, bots here. Um, so it's actually mainly for the very verification purpose. So once people join, then they will uh, verify and be able to join. That is actually to avoid any bots members, you know, to attack the server to join and don't speak. And then another most common use is the collab plan. So this actually bot will have to manage, you know, the members for you and depending on their token holdings and there will be allowed to join the community and if they found to be the uh, most uh, the bots and the boot them everything then they'll be very helpful for the community and then it's the the top gg bots uh it's a very uh common use and a very high rate is actually and uh, i think more uh, most of the project will use these bots um so it's mainly for like to get the gas price of the Ethereum network and to get everything that like, some stats show there. So people can easily find actually like the gas before, because for NFT projects, right? It's very important to track the gas, everything and uh, using some command easily. And uh, then it is something like the either 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 tracker, something like that. So either tracker, actually the is pull actually Ethereum live price and display them. Uh, as a bot's nickname so people knows actually the either price when they mean to order pre-sale and the public sale so they and they know actually how to put in a wallet to do the mint um and then it is actually for the invite tracker for invite tracker it's mainly um for people to uh for the project to track the how many the invites each people get uh to use for any like uh, ruffles like invite contacts or something um, and it will actually have a dashboard and some commands that the project team can use to find out the leaderboard of the, all the invites that people do. And uh, next one is also very common used uh, server stats bot. Um, so it will track all the stats of the, uh, you know, like how many people in the community, how many watch listed, how many people uh, follow Twitter, what is the mint price. You can put all the informative like the information on the project here using this stats bot and then another way is uh, a cam bot so it will also have a dashboard for managing like rewards like uh, notifications of uh, members leveling up or like experiences like options or tracking um and this uh this actually is also uh something very important that uh, we get all the bots uh, really organized in the in the sidebar, and another one is a uh, thread bot. Uh, I think for this one, it is mainly for leisurement because you know in a community, uh, people will not, not always talk about the crypto, the projects, right? So they will also talk about something about life, uh, movies, music. So this bot actually is used mainly for the music. Um, uh like listening some music together or something it can be also used for uh like people like uh, join together and uh, you know enjoy that together to really make the the channel feels like family um 
Then there's another very useful bot is Tweet Shift. For the Tweet Shift, actually the main focus is actually to auto forward any like Twitter posts to the uh, to the channels instead of like uh, the project himself or them themselves actually to uh, manually forward to the server. This can auto re forward all the posts from the Twitter but not included the retweets or something it's just uh, uh, the tweets that the project made and uh, then the next one i think is very um the most common use is a giveaway bot especially in the nft projects so for giveaway bots uh, via some simple command or something that people actually can it can run the, uh, the giveaways you can set up you know the the deadline for this giveaway how many uh, awards for this giveaway and it will run itself and pick all the winners itself. Uh, so this is mainly for the giveaway and also it can be used for like, uh, no matter internal project giveaway or any collab uh, giveaways for the other projects watch list. And then it is um, a ticket tools. Um, for this actually it's uh, focus on ease of use and clean design or something. So um, it will get like, uh, Full customization of uh, make the, the server really nice or something and then for sure the security of the server is very very important no matter across the project or during the mint or after mint so a security bot is also very useful and mandatory for every server uh, as far as I see that every server has the security bot installed to avoid any spams or avoid any like bots joining or something um other than this actually there are also uh some bots like weak bots weak bots actually can actually track the logs of people join if they join successfully and everything and also another option for optional bot is fk bot but this bot is very strict so uh, private team can actually set up the, the different criteria like what kind of people cannot join the server, even the real people. So it's not really used by other projects. So for example, if uh, you set up like uh, people with no avatars or they don't verify in one minute or they uh, created this uh, Discord account like before which date or uh, after which date, they, these guys will be kicked automatically. So it's a very strict bot and used by some really top level of projects. And then it's for some gaming bots. Um, so for example, uh, there is a bot called Garlic Bot. Uh, this bot actually is mainly used for people to uh, guess like uh, join and guess games. So people will also have a little board of the points if they guess correctly. We can uh, also consider use that as a reward for people if they get most points. Um, so that will be very uh, fun, uh, very a uh, lot of fun if we can get some bots like a doodling bots, like uh, some some guessing bots, like gaming bots um, to get in the server. So people at least have a lot of place they can play with and to play with all the other members. Um, so in general, that all the bot setup is very uh, important for the project. And also a lot of other bots as well that can help the project really grow you know with the engagement and also with the activities so yeah that is all about this thank you thank you so much uh, anchor appreciate it uh, hope this was very valuable for our uh, listeners um, if anybody's watching us any questions please do let us know in the comments section um, we are gonna do another podcast soon about which roles permissions to use and which how to apply the server boost feature in discord for nft projects so stay tuned for that uh, in the meantime thanks so much for watching and see you guys next time bye bye, bye.